It's a bit windy out. Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to do a brand new fish and chip review. I'm here in Cromer to try a fish and chip shop that I've been longing to try for ages. In fact, whenever I wanted to go in there in the summer, it is just so busy. In fact, there are normally queues outside the door. Cromer number one fish and chips is up there. So let's get in out of the cold. Table for one, please. Yeah, it's actually really quiet in here. I'm here with my menu, which seems very posh. It's actually got bits of leather all around it as well, which is quite nice. So as always, I'm going to review the cod, obviously the chips and the mushy peas. I'll be looking for the, uh, the batter, the crispiness of the cod, um, how well the chips are cooked, um, what the fish tastes like and of course the mushy peas because as you know I do love my mushy peas but they've got to be ultra mushy so I love the menu love the little beach huts and the illustration of chroma pier and what's really nice is obviously you can get chroma crab in here for about 15 pound with new potatoes the cod is succulent cod skinned and boned they use premium quality Icelandic fish and it's sourced from the North Atlantic Sea around Iceland by two vessels and actually name the ships that go out there and actually get the fish. Obviously the crab is from Chroma. But this is my current view of the restaurant. It's quite nice and airy and open and obviously which is really nice is that you get some lovely views of the sea. The only difference is, is that obviously being in the winter you get the spray up against the window which means it's a little bit um, dirty at the moment so it's not overly a clear view. Are you ready to order? Can I go for the uh, the cotton chips? Does that come with mushy peas? It doesn't, they're just on the side, sorry. Okay, I'll have a side of mushy peas as well. And uh, can I have a cup of tea as well? Thank Is you. Everything? Yeah, brilliant, thank you. It's weird, isn't it? Not a lot of people have a cup of tea with their fish and chips, but I love to have a cup of tea. Don't know why, it's a bit strange. Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Again, I get a nice little pot of tea. And I love the fact as well, this is also served with a nice little pot of milk and for sugar as well. Isn't that pretty? I'm spilling it all over the blooming table. Good, strong cup of tea there. Don't mind me about putting the milk in last, but when it gets served like this, you've got to really. What do they say? If you've got bubbles in your tea, you're gonna become a millionaire. Here's hoping. Do you know what? That's actually a really good cup of tea. There's nothing worse when you get like a film on the tea. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's nice. Oh, nice cup of tea. So what's in the condiment box? Like the condiment box, actually. Number one chrome on it. Obviously, you've got vinegar, salt and pepper, but no sauce. Hopefully, they'll probably give those out. But uh, yeah, table number. I think my dinner's ready. Thank you very Thank much. You. Can I get you anything else? No, that's... Uh... Oh, yeah, a bit of tartar yeah. sauce. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Wow, look at that. That presentation wise is pretty amazing i love the fact they've actually got like um proper sea salt on there as well mushy peas chips they all look good I'm so ready for the taste test just waiting for the uh, tartar sauce crazy thing is is this actually looks way too big for me to eat i mean look at the size of it however i'm not gonna grumble so first things first, let's check out the mushy peas. I love the fact that it's in this tiny little saucepan. How cute is that? Does it look good? Can't see many lumps in it. People always moan at me and say, well, mushy peas, you can have a little bit of lumpage in it, but um, I prefer it without lumps, but let's go and check it out. Mm. I love it when it's creamy as well. I mean, yeah, there is the odd bit of pea in there, which you're obviously gonna find, but, um, nice buttery taste to it as well and I always say this when I do mushy peas at home I actually do put a little bit of butter in it I think it tastes even better makes them look a little bit light greener as well so lemon drizzled on the fish actually I don't know why I need to put salt on it they've put some salt on it for me I'll just do it on the chips a little bit 
and of course a little bit of vinegar. I apologise if you don't like tartar sauce spread over the fish like I do. Oh, getting a bit steamed up there. The action's happening. Now it doesn't make it too moist because it still stays nice and crunchy on the sides. So first of all, the crunch test. I don't know if you actually picked it up on the camera, but that was a, uh, a pretty good crunch. I'm checking out the batter. Looks golden brown, bubbly. You gotta love bubbly batter though. Right, let's go. I like the fact they put the rock salt on it because it adds a little bit of flavor to the batter because I think otherwise the batter would probably taste a little bit um, bland. Let's have a look at the fish. This cod looks amazing. Lovely and white, lovely and clear. Flake test, wow. That is falling apart in my hands. Melting in my hands almost. Nice, nice and moist as well, not too dry. Fish looks so good. Pretty much melts in your mouth. It is that good. Okay, check out the chips. First of all, a little bit tough. Maybe it's the odd rogue chip. Because people always say, obviously, don't go for the first chip because it could be a rogue chip, which could be a little bit hard. But uh, we'll check out another one. Obviously, there are some chips harder than others, so they're not completely utterly soft, but I'm absolutely loving these mushy peas. And the fact they come in this little saucepan as well, it's really nice. But yeah, some places I don't like the mushy peas, but I'll tell you what, Chrome, you've got it done well. Mm. I don't know about you, but I always love the end of the batter. I know you should talk about the fish, but the end of the batter it always tastes so good. I'm going to be a right pig now, sorry. Yeah. For me, obviously, one of the pros about eating at Cromer number one is that you get to eat your fish and chips whilst looking at uninterrupted views of the sea, which is totally amazing. And it does make the fish taste even better. I must try the crab next time. You can't beat when you get a really long chip, can you? And wash it down with a cup of tea. I love the fact when you just come out of the toilets as well, there's a little bench there to sit on so you can have a look at the sea. That's really cool. Overlooking Chroma Pier. So a quick sum up of number one Chroma, the fish and chips. So I paid uh, £14.95 for cotton chips. I also paid £1.75 for the mushy peas. And I liked the pot of tea, which was £1.90. I liked the fact that it came in a little silver teapot and the nice cup and the little extra serving of the milk and sugar. I thought that was quite a nice touch. So let's talk about the fish. For me, the batter was a little bit bland, but with the rock salt on it, I actually gave it quite a nice taste. So it wasn't like a beer batter or anything like that. The fish was absolutely amazing. It literally melted in my mouth. I could squeeze it between my fingers and it tasted just absolutely beautiful. The chips were okay. They're a little bit hard for me, but I would give it a solid eight out of 10. Don't forget, if you want to see more fish and chip reviews, just click here. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. From Chroma, I'll see you next time.